Welcome back folks, my name is Last Snow Meal, and today we're going to talk about Ghost Runner. I already made a video about the game and a lot of people enjoyed it, I also did like how the game looks. So today we're going to talk about all the new information that came out. So if you don't already know, Ghost Runner is the upcoming first person hack and slash game. The game will focus on you taking out opponents as fast and precise as possible and also with a story behind it. Because one hit and you are going down. Now, the official Twitter account of the game has been tweeting out these cryptic messages for the past couple of days, and I was like, I like the idea, we know that actually making some strange, you know, out-of-the-box marketing campaign is always better than the standard one, and I can see that a lot of people are getting excited about it. And one thing we did find out from those videos is that in two days, on May 6th, we are actually getting new information. I will also make a video about it, so definitely stay tuned for that. We also have additional game information that was released on the game's flicks, which talks about many burning questions we have. You have the link down below to the article as well. So the first one on the list is about our character and we actually get some information about Ghost Runners. They're basically a super advanced combat cyborgs usually used as bodyguards and special forces in Dharma Tower, where basically the game takes place. We already know that the tower is like one huge mega building that is the last bastion of hope for humans. It seems that Ghost Runner will face challenges far beyond anything programming or mental condition prepared him for. Then what about PvP because yes, a lot of people were interested in having a PvP option in the game and they said this. At the moment we don't have such plans, we're focused on creating the best possible experience for a single player and I highly respect this, we need more studios like this. However, we can't exclude the possibility that PvP mode will appear in the future, so yeah, it might be possible after all, it's just, uh, it's just up to people. If you want it, you can actually you know, tell it to the studio and I guess if a lot of people are interested, they will implement it into the game. Then they talked more about inspirations, and it seems that Titanfall is one of the directions, you know, with a mix of Mirror's Edge and Hotline Miami. When it comes to the movies, it's, you know, the classic, Blade Runner, Dread, Matrix, etc. Next up are weapons. Now, we already know that you only have one weapon, the sword, nothing else, and they want you to feel like a perfect killer as you get better, so basically adding a firearm would just ruin the fun and the idea they have behind the game, so honestly, yeah. If you have a sword, they will obviously, like, stick to it, expand on it, especially the combat, but it's going to be interesting to see how they keep that combat fresh, because as you go throughout the game, you cannot only do one thing, you know, it gets boring, so, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see what they actually do to, you know, make it fresh. I also like this part of an interview, this is a great question they asked, if sometimes during the work, you know, during the development, they felt that, you know, this might not be it, and certainly they said they had doubts, no one knows how the public is going to react, I mean, you can anticipate to a certain point, but for a new fresh title, it's different, that's why the positive feedback from, you know, the people kept them pushing, and I'm glad, this looks like a promising title. Now keep in mind, this is a smaller studio, there is about 30 people working on this. But hopefully, hopefully the game has replayability value because it's important for a smaller game. Okay, if, you know, it has a story and your goal is to be this perfect killer, then obviously you're going to go back to the level and do it again and again until you do like the speedrun of it. And of course, in the end they were asked if the game is coming out this year, they were not sure then, but you know, we are getting something new in two days, might be the exact release date, who knows. The game is also coming out for PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4, if you were wondering. And that's it, thank you for watching everyone, smash that like and subscribe button for more Ghost Runner and join our growing community on Discord and Twitter. I also made a Patreon page, if you want to support me there it would be appreciated. Also huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone, bye bye.